So Premiere Pro's new feature in its beta build is going to change the editing game. Trust me. Have you ever felt like finding the perfect clip in your timeline is like searching for a needle in a haystack? Well, not anymore. With Premiere Pro's new media intelligence and search panel currently in the beta build, that's about to change. Premiere automatically identifies the content of your clips, things like objects, locations, and camera angles, and more. You could type in what you're looking for in natural language, and boom. You could even search for other metadata like camera types, shoot dates, and more. So let me show you how this works and how it could change your editing game. So if you don't have Premiere Pro beta, you can go into the Creative Cloud app into beta, and then you could just download it from there. I'm gonna start off with showing you the feature that is great for when you have a lot of footage and you're logging it. So I'm gonna go into a assembly workspace. Historically in the past, when I would wanna log footage, I would go into my scene here and I'll type in scene one, and I would type in the description, and then I could search for it in the search panel here. But now with this new feature, you don't even have to do that anymore. And I'll show you. So if I go into window and I go to search, then this nice new fun search panel will pop up. I'm just gonna attach this over here. This drop down panel here, I could choose visuals, text, metadata, or everything. I'll keep it on everything for now. Let's say I wanna find the shot where she's looking at a book. Okay, all I have to do is type in book. And then under visuals, it's gonna show me all the shots here that she has a book or there's a book in the scene. If I type in stairs, then my shot comes up right here and I found my shot that quickly. So I know if there's one with the train in the background, I could type in train and I know these are the train tracks, but I know that this is the actual train. I could type in wide angle and this is the wide shot that comes up. If I know there's just a shot of their feet, I could find that one as well. So this cuts down your editing and your search and your logging time in half, literally. All right, so if I have a sequence here that I'm piecing together, and let's say you have a ton of shots and you really need to find a specific part of the timeline with a specific shot. All you need to do is go back to your search. And let's say I wanna find the shot of the feet. Over here, if I just click sequence, it'll bring up where that shot specifically is in my sequence. So here is the source, what I was doing before, and this one is the sequence. So if I wanna find the stairs shot, I could click on this and it'll go right to the shot with the stairs. So this is a game changer if you have really long sequences with a ton of B-roll shots and a bunch of shots that you wanna find and pinpoint it really quickly. All right, let's move on to another use case. I'm gonna move on to my text-based editing workspace. So if I have a audio file here that's automatically transcribed, so if you have a file that's not transcribed, all you gotta do is go here and click transcribe. So once your files are transcribed, let's say there's part of the narrative, there's an audio file where she talks about pages. So I'm gonna type in pages as my keyword. And right down here, you see there's a monologue that pops up and it highlights pages. So you could find the specific text in the audio that you need to find quickly without scrolling through and listening to everything. You could just pinpoint everything you need. Again, the AI coming through in the clutch here. Another cool thing you could search for is different types of metadata. So let's say you have a shoot with a lot of different cameras that shot log and different types of LUTs. You could search for everything that's under S log and then it'll pop up because of the metadata, all the shots that are shot in S log. One thing I would love to see in the future is if, let's say you have a lot of shots that are slated, you know, you have your slate in the beginning of the shot. Since these are actually written with marker, I mean, I'm sure Adobe has the capabilities to read what's on the slate and transcribe that as metadata. So if you were able to search in the search panel, I'm looking for a BTS scene five, you know, directed by Alex. If you could type in any of that metadata, then, you know, that saves a lot of time with logging what each shot is. So that's a new feature. Try it out for yourself. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and how it's going to change the game for you.